Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering video. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this frame structure, which is composed of beam and column. Here we can see the length of the column of the vertical member is 6 meter, and also there is a beam which has a length of 8 meter. And there are two different loads acting on this beam. We can see here. One is 3 kN pointed concentrated load acting at a distance of 2, distance of two meter from this end and 4 kN is another pointed load acting at a distance of 4 meter from the right end or the right support of the beam. So to analyze this frame structure, let's suppose this is a rural support so it can only take the vertical load RB. So we have to find out the support reactions RB and also here will be another support reaction which will be RA. It is a hinge support so it can also take the horizontal reaction RAX. But in this case it is equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on the frame structure. So we have to only find out the RA. Now to start with our calculation we can use this equilibrium equation that summation of moment at any point equal to zero. Let's suppose in this case we take the summation of moment at point B equal to 0. In another point, we should know our moment direction. The clockwise moment direction is, let's suppose, taken as positive, and the anti-clockwise moment direction is, let's suppose, taken as negative. So now the forces that create a moment about point B, so the first force that creates a moment about, about point P is this reaction RA here. This is acting in upward direction. So here, it will create the moment about point B in clockwise direction. You can see here. So it will be taken as positive because the moment that creates the the moment in the clockwise direction is positive. So hence our moment in this case will be positive for the RA. So RA is positive. Multiplying it with the moment arm. What is the moment arm? Because moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So here RA is the force, R is the moment arm, the moment arm is the distance from RA which is from here up to the B point or from here up to B point is a perpendicular distance which is 2 meter plus 2 meter plus 4 meter total is 8 meter. The next force that creates a moment about point B, we have to find out all the moments about point B, summation of moments. So the next force is this one. And this creates a moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. You can see here, this creates in downward direction and anti-clockwise direction. So it will be taken as negative. Minus 3 is the load. Multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point up to the B point. Which is 2 meter and plus 4 meter. Total is 6 meter. The next force that creates a moment arm about point B is 4 kN. Which is acting also in the downward direction and will create the moment about point B in anti-clockwise direction. So it will again taken as negative. So minus 4 multiplying it with the moment arm. Moment arm for this is this one which is 4 meter equal to 0. So now if we shift all these volume to the right side, this one and this one we get 16 plus 18 and RA comes out to be 34 divided by 8 we got here 4.25 kN. So this is the reaction at point A. Here is the support reaction R A equal to 4.25 kN. Now we have to find out R B this one. Sorry this is a lot of mess here. So I have to delete these things. So now R B is unknown to us. So for this we can use another equilibrium equation that summation of vertical force is equal to zero. This is our second equilibrium equation. This was our first equilibrium equation. So here summation of all the vertical forces equal to zero. Let's suppose upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now the upward forces are RA and RB are acting in upward direction. So it will be RA plus RB. The downward forces are 3 kN and 4 kN, so it will be taken as margin, minus a negative because it is our sign assumption. So all the vertical forces now equal to zero. 
and we know that RA is equal to 4.25 so we will find out RB here if we shift this value to the right side so minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7 it will be plus 7 and if we shift this value to the right side it will become minus RA so RB comes out to be 7 minus RA RA is 4.25 so from here we get our RB which is 7 minus 4.25 comes out to be 2.75 kN. So our B is 2.75 kN. So this is the way how to find out the support reaction for a frame structure. If you have any pointed or concentrated load or any uniformly distributed load, you can simply use this equilibrium equation in sign assumption and also this equilibrium equation to find out your support reaction. If there is a horizontal load, then you should also consider summation of horizontal force is equal to zero in order to find out the horizontal reaction of the support. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.